You are a sneaky little thief, aren't you? Hmm? You thought I wouldn't notice? Well, I have to give it to you. You are pretty good. If I was anyone else, I'm sure they wouldn't have noticed until they were home. Well, unless... Hmm. But I'm going to need that wallet back. It has important things in there, things that I cannot lose. Good. But, hmm. Quite impressive. I'm going to guess that this is something that you've been doing for a while. Out on the streets, relieving tourists and the like of precious cargo. Hmm. I could tell you seem to have a knack for this. No. I'm not going to get the cops, don't worry. I just want to talk with you. How old are you? So young. Why are you on the streets? Do you don't have a home to go back to? Hmm. I figured kids who do this kind of thing just for fun, they tend to not be very good at it. But for you, it's a necessity, isn't it? Trust me. This isn't a life that you should want for yourself. <laughs> what do I know, right? Listen, I know, um, I know a couple things about living on the streets, about having to steal to survive. And I know that it might seem like your only option right now, but it's not. I've been there and I don't know your situation, and we don't have to get into it now. But things were pretty rough for me not even too long ago. I had originally fled here from a different country, and... Shit was pretty fucked for a while. And I didn't want anyone to help me, which... I'm sure the only reason you're even talking to me now is because you're afraid I'm still going to turn your ass in. Listen, I'm sure that you've probably been in and out of organization and they all tried to help you and I know it sucks, and I know that it seems like they don't understand you and they don't know how to help you. But if there's anything that I've learned is your worst enemy is yourself. If you go through life never accepting anyone, anyone's help, anyone's comfort, anyone's advice, you're just digging your own grave. I've seen so many kids like you end up dead somewhere. They get in with the wrong type of people. They rob someone they shouldn't have and... You really, really shouldn't want that for yourself. It's okay. I. 
I understand. It's difficult and I'm sure many people have hurt you. And it seems like you can't trust anyone. But it's okay to give them a chance as long as they are the right people. People that are not just here to use you. Because there are many of them. Even this city is full of predators. I should know. <laughs> uh, but seriously, kid. Please, give it a try. There, there are so many places you can go to here. You are lucky to be in this city, in this country. I know, I don't want to make you do anything, even though I probably could. Hmm? <laughs> don't worry about it. <sighs> like I said, I normally wouldn't do this, but... Um, I see something of myself in you, and... I don't want you to go down that path. I could have saved myself a lot of misery. Like I said, I can't let you take this wallet, but I can give you some cash. Just make sure you get something to eat, okay? And a place to sleep. And I'll be keeping an eye on you. If I ever find you picking pockets again, I'll drag you somewhere myself, and that'll be less pleasant. Good. Now, you've probably noticed that I'm not an ordinary person, and you caught me an interesting time. I was actually looking for a bite. And since I caught you here in this alleyway... Don't worry, it won't hurt and you'll be just fine afterwards. You won't even really remember much, just that you had a strange encounter with a nice woman in an alleyway. Who told you, ordered you to get your life back on track, and then you had a more intimate encounter with her, but you don't quite remember what exactly happened, just that it felt really good. Mm. Mm. No, kid. You're gonna do what I told you, right? Good. And like I said, I'll be checking up on you. If 
even notice that you're fucking around again. I'll make sure you get the help you need, okay? Good. Now, go get yourself a hot meal.